see you managed to get uh, a good day cutting yesterday. Shame about the weather this morning. Tell us a little bit more about the combine and uh, what you experienced. Thanks for letting us use it. That was really, uh, really helpful for us to uh, see what the machine, uh, not only just the combine, but the header itself can do. I was very impressed with the header, how well it fed and how well it retained the crop onto the header, but then also the machine with its new automation features, uh, the chopper, which is an upgrade on ours, which was nice to see, and then just the all-round look and feel uh, of the machine as a whole. So you mentioned the header. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what you felt performed extremely well for you yesterday. With our old S-Series that we've got at the moment, we only have the one stone trap, but with this header, with its inbuilt one as well, we've got our two stone traps to reduce that amount of stone going through the combine. The fact that it sits up and the knives above just gives me that confidence that I can carry on and keep forward momentum of the machine uh, at all times. Okay, so we'll, we'll move around from the header. I think key things that we've seen on these S7 combines that we've launched this year is to do with our automation features. Well, how did that perform yesterday as well? So it all started with Sam, uh, the Precision Ag Specialist at TAG, who we have a, a great relationship and partnership with. Uh, he called, gave me a call and asked for the fields that we wanted to try with the demo. It was a very simple procedure that I then set those fields and he sent across the guidance lines and the field boundaries to the combine. This allowed then the predictive biomass layers to be taken by satellite to aid with the combine's automation features uh, and allow us to get into the cab and get going. Once the work plan was loaded into the combine, you've now got the, the full range of the ultimate technology package. You're able to experience it all. How did it go? Let's jump in the cab and have a look. I love the, the features that have been added to improve what was a very good cab to make it an extremely, extremely good cab. The foot pegs for, for user comfort, uh, as well as the, the improved seat with lumbar support and massage features for those long days. Uh, got the new car play system uh, and then into just all of the space that, have, that has now been saved to store all the things and the items that I need for a long day. Noise wise, uh, you can hardly hear uh, anything compared to what on the old machines. And the only thing I can hear is the grain tipping into the tank, nice. which is really nice to be able to hear that. A few other features that I really like about this machine, not only just the cab, but the mirrors here. They've dedicated uh, grain tank mirrors, whereas my old one, I had to use the electric mirrors to look up into the windows. So one of the most uh, exciting features on this new combine is the predictive ground speed automation. I believe you got a great demo of that yesterday. How did it go? Yeah, it was it was really interesting to see how it works with, alongside the uh, predictive uh, biomass map that comes into the combine. The cameras then were there to, to reassure that uh, and to, to tell the combine what was coming. Uh, the old system of Harvest Smart that we use on a nice standing bit of wheat with our old S series combine uh, is great, but it's reactive. And I think this technology that John Deere are bringing out uh, will mean the combine can be proactive and, and change those key speeds uh, and sieve, sieve sizes to, uh, to match the crop coming into the combine. How easy was it to, to get the combine up to uh, full productivity? It, it was really easy, really easy, in exactly the same way as I'd do a normal setup to start a job. Uh, it was just me, two other but extra buttons, uh, and then I was going forward and it was doing the rest for me. So for, for experience wise, you don't have to worry about that because the combine's got you uh, in the right place. So Ollie, on this combine, uh, you're also lucky to try out a new feature that we're developing from John Deere. It's called our Active Slope Adjustment. Uh, it's a belt in the clean shoe. Where do you see this feature uh, adding value to your business? Well, we'd love to go to tracks to, uh, to reduce our width, for example, going around lots of narrow roads in the Cotswolds here. Uh, it's really difficult with tyres. So seeing this feature will hopefully make our decision easier and allow us to then move to the track combine to, to get that cleaning shoe level uh, which fundamentally is what we care about i love automation features such as auto turn uh, and machine sync which uh, enables those trailers to get nice and full uh, to increase efficiency the new feature of, uh, of harvest settings automation gives me as the operator that that warm feeling that the combine is constantly fighting for that sample that I want to achieve while also taking into consideration grain losses. Yes, I've got the window to look into my sample, but I've also got the cameras as well that will reassure me that that sample is constantly being uh, refined to, to, to get it to the standard that I set at the beginning of the day. So Ollie, you've experienced the new Ultimate Technology Package, you've experienced the, the HD40X header on the front, You've even experienced how the active slope adjustment works in the combine. Is, is there anything else that uh, you actually you, you liked about this combine? 
the, the small fine details that matter to the operator as we look after this kit day in, day out uh, over the summer. Small adjustments allowing me to get access to the, the radiator properly, uh, new step system, fuel filters that are easy to access. All those little minor adjustments mean that we as operators can, can do things more efficiently yep. and, and fundamentally get the machine turning through the fields. In the cab you mentioned how quiet the unload nogger system was, but is there anything else that impressed you about our brand new unload nogger? We love the new spout uh, that comes on this now, uh, as given with uh, the climate and the weather that we have, uh, wet straw is a big problem, so to have this uh, adjustable spout means that we can stay off the straw and keep the swath nice and high to let it dry for so when it does rain, so this is a real big win uh, for farmers uh, around this part of the country. And Ollie, what about the styling? I, I, look, look at it, 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 it speaks for itself. Ultimately, we're going to buy this on performance, but it looks great.